Hello everyone and welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Now, I hope you're having a great week so far. We're coming up to the weekend by the time this one comes out, so uh, all I can do is wish you the best for the rest of the week. Now, let me just give you the quickest of recap what I just did whilst paused. So, we're just deleting this one bed, moving the statues out here so we've got a bit of room to play with, and I've... The tiniest extension has been added to this fence here, and uh, it just gives us that whole nice bit to build with. Now this is really annoying that we're not really ever going to be able to build properly over here. But what we also did was extend the mushroom field to take over this as well because we're going to primarily be using that for our food and lighting inside for happiness at the moment. Now everything's going on in here. We've obviously got our freezer if you remember from the last one and we are setting literally every glitter cap and syrup to be harvested here. We're just going to stock up on food so we don't need to worry about it and then we can kind of work on making sure we can get our farm animals done. Now Xander is almost done with the carbon wind turbines as well so we'll put it on 2x. We will be building some of those to supplement these and we'll also look at maybe getting our battery section done soon as well. We could put that back here. There's a nice little spot there. Now I don't know if we move this out of the way. It's kind of pointless over there, you know? We do have enough here. It would make sense to just put it where they're going to be, really, you know? Uh, where they work from. So maybe here, so we can use this kind of area. I don't think we can put our door that we mentioned in this section here. We can. Look at that. So we've got another door into our storage here as well. I think that's a good idea. I don't know whether it's going to block this, though. That's my only worry. I don't know if they can walk over these or not. This side's fine because they're getting there, so we'll have to test that as a theory. If not, we'll have to move one of these squares out. Maybe that one will empty and deconstruct, but um, we'll see. And we'll go from there, really. But there's our carbon wind turbines. Look at that. But thank you for the love, as always, on the channel, guys. It is massively appreciated. And obviously, if you are new, please do check out the rest of the playlist from the beginning and the other ones. I think this is a fourth playthrough of Stranded Alien Dawn on the channel. as other builder stuff. And obviously, give us a consider dropping a like and uh, a sub as well. All right, they're all gone to bed, so we'll leave Xander to do his thing at night. So they're already starting to wake up. Hugo has got himself out of bed at the moment. We've got a, a bit of a problem with fuel. We don't have any bug meat to make any, so we're back to... If we need any, we need to craft it on here, but I'm not too worried just yet. I want everything at home to get sorted, including this last bit. And I've now set Hugo to exclusively... Let's just slow this down a second. Hugo is basically one on this. I want him to do nothing but this. So I've put him two on heel. He's two on these. So his main thing is he's just going to wake up and do everything to do for the animals. Nothing else, pretty much. Um, if we had another survivor, I'd take him off everything else. But I've also put a couple of the others on other things. So Han, I'm hoping to get his physical 10. I've got Xander to try and work up his physical as well and also his harvest. Now, the idea is, obviously, if I can get them all leveled on everything, we'll eventually be in a really good spot and it doesn't matter who does what and we can just go based on their traits. So that's the plan. But yeah, um, he's grabbing the last bit of cloth there. I might set this one to change... I'm going to change the crop on this one to... Uh, we don't have any grain grass yet, which is a shame. But I might put this to be more glitter cap for the time being. Purely because we really don't need that. Uh, I think we left some hay out, so it's rotting away. I'm hoping he gets out and does this. We set a bit of stone to be done as well so we can keep the concrete coming Han is on that and then the scavenge will have to wait and again we'll get to the taming soon anyway but I think once all this has been moved it gives us a bit of room to play with and this won't be here I think all this might get moved we've got to be careful when the attacks come because I know they go for this type of thing so I will reinforce the area but again we could kind of make a walkway and put a separate bit up here like two attack zones there's no harm in that right because this is actually a really good spot to build on don't think you'll get anything coming up this way. And these rocks look very cool as well. I don't know. There's options, you know. That's the main thing. But Yoko is obviously smashing through the last two carbon boots as well. And then she'll move on to the other ones. I think we've got enough carbon to do that. But I'm just thinking, at the moment, we're okay, I think. Because they're only spinning quite slow. So we don't even need to get the carbon um, turbines down just yet. Yoko hitting the uh, crafting nine there. Just checking how much it takes to how much it costs. So it's 20 per boots, which is cool. And then we'll get back on the food, hopefully, as well. She's uh, exclusively on veggie soup because we don't have the mushroom. We don't have anything else. So we, the main thing we have is glitter caps, you know? I'm hoping to fill this up slowly as we go along. Uh, Hugo's doing a great job, though. Uh, shooting star. I don't think we can do anything with that just yet. 
But yeah, I do appreciate all the suggestions on the farm stuff as well for anyone that's played it a little bit more. I haven't been able to get on and play as much as I'd like because work is crazy at the moment. And uh, yeah, just for that really, I haven't been able to just sit and just smash through playing for a few hours. I haven't been able to play outside of recording at all, which normally I do get an hour or two in every day to try and learn the games that I'm playing so that it's better content for you. But I haven't really been able to do it for this update, unfortunately. So I am still going with what you guys say and what I learn. As we go along for the taming. Obviously everything else we know. And uh, yeah, so keep them coming. Obviously be, be friendly about it as usual, but keep them coming, yeah. Um, also with the traps, I know that we have these here. What we, we won't be using too many more of these. When we've got a supply of fuel, we will be using the actual fuel ones. I, I think they're a little bit better. Uh, they don't cost any to refuel either. Or they didn't. I don't know if they do now, so we'll see. I don't think it's a problem, you know, getting into here. So we'll see. I think now that's full it might be. We might need to empty and deconstruct one of these. Hmm. I don't know, we'll see. We're on a new morning though, uh, just to just to show where we're at. We're middle of the summer, year two, day 18, and obviously we're first thing in the morning. Research, there is nothing going on, so we are caught up on that. Now we could start going down the flare shield and getting that ready, but I'm not gonna grab it just yet. I need to move to the electric cooker soon. That's what I need to do, actually. So let's slow it down and let's um, let's move into the L cook stove. Now, what we will do is we will pop that here for the time being. Once it's built, I also don't like where this is. I'm actually going to move the research desk a little bit over here. So they've got a bit of space to go in there. I kind of want to keep this area clear. And we may end up making separate room for all this junk anyway. So we've got an eating area and all this. But it's like the main thing at the moment, isn't it? And then we'll get rid of this. We'll put this on. I think we've got enough fuel to keep that one going anyway. Because it was just 10 power. So we can keep that just running. Do you want all this harvest done though? I could do with Hugo, kind of. I've got him doing a bit too much. But our food's more important than theirs, right? And with the Draka, he does go and eat from these, which is nice. So I'm tempted to grab Xander here and get him to uh, cut down this uh, blade grass here. And start harvesting that. I think that's probably a good idea. Get all that set up. We may as well, because he was idling anyway. He's just whinging that he's got nothing to do, right? I guess. But it's, it's on his downtime. His happiness is good, so we, I think we can utilize just manually chucking him in doing stuff, I think. I think we're going to have the berries soon, too. Hmm, no, a little bit away. We did grab, we did get a bunch, didn't we? So I don't think we'll be getting any more in this cycle. We may get some. Depends if we get a heat wave or anything. Here we go. So we got a good surplus of hay, and I do think another Draken might be a good shout now. We have... How do we want to do this? We've got a male. So if we grab one female, female Draken when we can. Hugo, what's up, mate? I need to play around with his thingies again, actually. So, if I go into their schedule here, let's just play it nice and slow. Hugo obviously has issues, so... And he's hanging around the base, maybe. The problem I have is, is if he goes to... Eat beforehand. There's a shame you can't force eating, you know? I'm thinking getting another anything here, but actually, it's at the end of the day where he's saying it, so he should go back up. He's a bit of a... The, the, the double eat issue with him is... Annoying, but I guess there's a good trade-off for him having instant tames. Here we go. There's some trackers over here And they're both female So uh, you know what? I'm gonna set one to be tamed and we'll see if he goes out and grabs one. We've got a bed for each Obviously, I know that I I'm told that you can put both of these in If I if you, you attach the animal shed to each other does it work? I believe it does, you know Well, there you go. Look so all along, we could have attached them, and obviously you can't move them. What I might do is deconstruct, and then we'll attach another one once that's done. And in all honesty, I'm going to empty and deconstruct that one as well. It's just more for him to do, isn't it, food-wise? And I know you mentioned in the comments actually as well about a separate freezer for the manure. Now, it's a great shout, I think, because what's the shelf life on these? So under a roof is 48 days, so I think that's fine for now. But I think late game we will get a, a, a mini freezer over here to do that, you know, and then just have manure purely there. For sake of slight more realism, I just realized this one is targeting that. So this one room wouldn't have even been a freezer. 
Uh, they're kind of countering each other. Um, yeah, what we'll do is get a manure mini freezer over here. And for realism, we don't want it mixing in with our food. All right, we've got another thunderstorm. We should be okay if they're staying in this bit. I don't want them going out, really. But, oh, Xander went and just smashed through some of the, what's it called as well? The glitter cap. So that's really good. Uh, I might actually cancel these now. Oh, he's already gone out. Please don't get struck by lightning. We're risking it here, aren't we? Very, very silly of me, but it is what it is. Go on, mate. Get it done and get back inside. I know we have insufficient fuel as well. We're hoping to uh, get on top of that soon. Um, Again, no barrels doing anything for it yet. We're pickling some veg up, which is good. I might set another pickled veg here. What we need is a new food type we need like a uh, the other berries not the berries other stuff we can ferment you know drac has actually eaten the food out there which is good all right now this is done then what we can do is get the animal shed like i said we're sticking with the uh, sticks for these i do want it to kind of be one giant shed as you see for now and then we can obviously get the beds around i don't want to move that one just yet we we'll move one at a time so we'll go backwards one there and another suggestion was to make your farm areas for like drackers and that a little bit over here like you can have them by your farms and they're automatically if they don't have food just go and chew on like the bushes and stuff and it actually does feed them oh hello <laughs> hummingfly just got itself in here you know and we've made some smoke leaf pipes nice why we are putting these on here, I don't know. I think it's time we got rid of this, actually. So let's, uh, let's empty and deconstruct that one. Come on, having a smoke, man. Oh, my Lord. Look at him. You go. You've gone downhill, mate. <laughs> there you go. Smoke pipe. Plus 18. Now he's gone to play darts. He should sort himself out, then. He should be a happy boy soon. Need him to get some more food. Uh, fence is almost done. Good stuff. I'm not destroying this, as you can see, until the, uh, the fence is complete, because we are going to get an attack soon. Don't know if we slow down on the hay. I don't think we need to worry about getting, uh, is this field set to harvest? It's not. Oh, there's a lot there, isn't there? <laughs> All right, let's, um, let's set one of these to not be harvested, because that is a lot, isn't it? Then we'll stock up on sticks. Wood we could do is, so we will leave that. And then I think all the heptagonia and stuff has been done. Yeah, we got 719 syrup. So <laughs> we're not too worried about that. Xander's complaining about numbing cold, but it's 13... It's 10 degrees. What? You're such a baby, Xander. I hope you know this. Such a baby. You've got a coat on and everything. Oh, new insect nest as well and some falling debris. How far away is that one? A little bit too far. It's like other side of this giant mountain, so we won't be going towards that one. We don't need it anyway. We've got the two, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be enough for our base anyway. And we're getting on top of the grain, which is really, really good. I'm hoping he'll go and do that tame shortly. I might just get him, force him to do it, actually. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to get him to go tame that Draco whilst he's happy. And uh, I wanted it before the winter, really, so... Grayson is doing his thing with the fence. He is so slow now, by the way. That 50% is just stupidly slow. All because he got struck by lightning, eh? And he's obviously a slow poke. Here we go. Go on, Hugo. Get us another Draco, mate. There we go. All right, cool. So we've got the two beds now for these guys. So that's really good. Okay. What we got here? Lots of... Vo Ooh, Hello. Red feathered bird. We haven't seen one of those before. Flying away now, so I don't think we'll catch that. I'm hoping he doesn't chase after it. How we doing, mate? We've got you working like a dog. How's Grayson here? Hungry, moderate pain, and drowsy. Uh, we do need to keep an eye and keep looking out for dogs as well. We're so close to finishing the observe on them. Something we need to keep in mind, because we're never going to get one at this rate. That nest is nice and close. Grayson's crafting five. Perfect. So he can actually do the carbon armor if we need to as well. Which is awesome. The manure is rotting away. Hmm. No dogs in sight though. So we'll have to just chill on that again for a minute. 
Now, I'm pretty sure Xander for farming, yeah, so we're almost at farming four for Xander now, for keeping him working is, is worked out pretty pretty damn well, you know? He is complaining about cold all the time, but what's that for? Oh, am I not allowing smoke leaves on these? Uh, okay, let's get that on there then. I'm not even allowing that on there. Silly, silly boy. I know that they sit here. Let's just check this room now. Minus nine. Lovely stuff. So we officially have everything looking good freezer-wise. Is someone just leaving CPUs on the floor? Did our team come back? Here we go. So we, yeah, as you can see, we've got one, I believe it's a male. One male, one female. There you go. Oh, pregnant animal. That didn't take long. Here we go. So begins the army of Drakkers. I think we can accommodate them all now. I kind of want to get up a little bit, and then we can use them as a renewable source of meat. Desperately want this dog, though. Please, just one for now. You know? This map is awesome for uh, rocks and things, but not much else. I'm actually just going to slow it down a second and look for certain resources that I may need, like the bushes and stuff. See if I can find anything. Oh, here we go. I found one. Got to be careful here, because it's pretty close to uh, the thingy but we have found the densely leaf plant so i am going to set that one to be observed i'll do it away from this they shouldn't go near the nest here perfect there we go i'm i'm hoping there might be one closer but densely leaf plant nope that's good though that is one more that we can use so i'm happy with that it's no dog but it is another different food source i want to start cooking better foods you know I know that we can make the wine. This looks like a spot that might have something, actually. Let's look here. No, this is how I'm doing it. This is a cool little uh, spot as well. Densely leaf. Oh, dog. Hello. Hello. Look at you. I need you. Problem is, the dogs just run off and eat everything, don't they? Right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's speed it up here. And let's hope, 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 hope that they go and do that now. I've got to be careful of Xander. I'm just keeping an eye that he doesn't run into that nest here. And obviously attack an attack is due, so I just want to make sure he doesn't get himself into a muddle here. Oh, of course. It's the other end, so we're fine. Oh, they might fight stuff too. Cool. Oh yeah, Drakkers are going to end up killing some. Oh no, they're shooting ones. We need to be careful of those. How you doing there, Xander? I think he'll be okay, because the attack's closer to home, so they should go for the home stuff first. We kind of don't need him, so... No fuel, though. I haven't got any on construct, either. Which, actually, is a huge problem. No, we're good. We've got fuel in two of them, so I'm not too concerned there. And they're shooting ones anyway, so... Just slow it down a second. We might need to get some of this on. Uh, I might just set it this to like always have 30 you know just use up some of the manure All right here we go so we're gonna have to get the draft going so we'll start with you there grace and you're a slow poke so i'm actually gonna put you out here on um, you can go up there you go you're gonna need a crossbow and xander I mean, you can stay out there. You like the night time. We'll see if that's enough. Uh, what I should be doing, actually, is getting Yoko up on that one. She could have started sniping them before they get any closer. Hmm. That's all right. Because I've got to be careful. Han's going to take a bit of a beating here. Speed it up a little bit, though. And uh, we'll draft Hugo. Put him over here. All right. Let's slow it a little bit as this attack comes in. What's your range, Han? They've got better range than you, so we've got to be careful. What I might need to do, actually, I'm thinking, is pull these over here. Han, I might put down here. No no tower fighting for this. We can kind of make them be weird here if I bring them all over this way. Yoko, come on in. Oh, they're shooting my Drakkers. Do not. No, we've just taken... Oh, you're dead. Oh, bless. That's why we need to fence this off then. Well. Yoko, come and ping at these. Come and... You don't need to be... Oh, and now they're breaking through. 
Okay, so they decided that Drakkers are one they want to go for then. All right, you can now become meat, I guess. Cheeky sods. Well done, Yoko. How annoying. Well, we'll let Yoko keep pinging at them. Hopefully she can do a bit of damage before we get through. All right, we're going to need to move them away then because now we've got friendly boy over here. You guys, can you go and deal with these before they kill the other one? Thanks. I'm hoping these guys come into the flame turrets here. Grayson, you're going to need to back up, mate. There we go. And we'll leave them to fight. I'm hoping these guys can go and save this one. Definitely don't want to lose our friend here. This is our male. Get these two on this. I'm hoping they can... Uh, he's knocked out. Probably going to die. Yeah, we might lose them too. That's all right. You guys, come over here. Deal with these. Get everyone attacking these, I think. And you back as well. Gonna have to get Yoko just on the case here. I think they're all good. Mate, shooting ones are obviously a problem. Hugo, just... You're a... That's the dead one. Bleeding out in five hours. He's coming to do it now, so we should be all right. He hopes. Please don't die. Come on, Hugo. Come on, mate. 11 per hour. He's, he's slowing it down. I think we're okay here. No Drakkar's dying today. Good stuff. All right, well, it's an attack. We survived. Now, yeah, I think we're going to need to get the walls up then. Or move this over, maybe. Tell you what, let's, um, let's cancel that. Destroy. Deconstruct that. Yeah, we definitely need the fence round and just move it over where they can't reach my friends, you know. What we'll do is get the animal sheds up over here. So let's put them... Let's just put them over here for now. That's enough room, and it's a bit more organized, you know? Because I don't want no deaths, man. Ah, oh, what a sad story. I've just tamed you, and, I'm, and you're dead already. I mean, you do need to kind of butcher that, though. Thank you. Let's settle these to be butchered, actually, as well, because that is animal. Oh, we need to observe one. Set that one to be observed, then. No butcher on that one. Grayson's going berserk and he's in meltdown. He's punching the punch bag, though. You're weirdo. You're weirdo. It's because you're a slowpoke, isn't it? Did we finish that observation now? I didn't see anything come up on farming, so we definitely haven't finished it just yet. And I don't think that dog is getting observed either. 83%. Oh, it is still there. I can see it in the distance, so we'll leave that on as well. What we got going on, guys? A shriek has been discovered, so we should be able to hit a tame on one of these. Taming food, there we go. So, ten... Hmm. We could try and get one of those now. I believe they poop carbon. Don't quote me on it. Problem is, we'll need some chicken or some kind of meat. A constant flow of meat. Ah, oh, there we go. We have the Great Dane, baby. All right, let's... Uh... We're getting one of these. Right, where is it? Great Dane. Where's it gone? Live by the water? Dog, dog, dog. Ah, oh, we need dried meat. Okay, okay. Well, we'll have dried meat. What we'll do then is we'll set some of the meat to be done on here. I don't think any's there. So once the butcher is done... I'll leave Xander to do his thing. It is the night time. So let's wait for the morning then. But dog statue deserves a place in my heart, okay? Oh, wait, you can put the statues inside. That's cool. Hey, there's our chew root, baby. Let's get dog statue there. All right. That is awesome. So I think the chew roots are pretty damn tolerant too, which is a good spot to be in. We might need to put these outside though, based on what we have here. Now, you can't do anything there, Grey Sword. Oh, all right. Let's get a chew root patch right there. 100%. Oh, we got some serious meltdown issues here, though. That's the problem. Did he put the meat on there? He did, right. We'll get this dried meat. Need to remember where that Great Dane is. It's over that end, so we need to remember this. 
Have they moved everything off here? They haven't. So let's get both of these deconstructed and then we look a little bit tidier everywhere, don't we? Everyone will sort themselves out, hopefully. I'm not seeing any planting happening though, Hugo. Just point that out there, you're a bit rubbish. Who have we got on hunt? Nobody. So that's not good. Thunder, can you do the hunting stuff? Thank you. I know you're asleep, mate, but as soon as you get up. You know what? He's really happy. Let's uh, let's get him butchering shriekers. We need the meat. We need fuel, so let's do it. And uh, I think we need to probably stop on the hay now. Hay now. Yeah, well, let's turn off harvest on that. And Han is cutting down sticks. Lovely. That's good. He, the problem is he's going to end up... What I might do is set this one to not be planted. Let's turn off plant on that one after, because that's more than enough. And we are obviously onto the new cook stove soon. A first synthetic chair is done. Look at this. Lovely blue chair by the fire. Be nice in the winter. Meets 39% almost, so that's good. Really sorry that you lost your friend. What I'm going to do is try and fence them in. Uh, let's get that built, actually. So let's go holes. Can we, can we attach that? That's a gate, so that's not going to work. We need vents, poles. Pretty sure we can attach that from there so a dracker can't get out, you know? That's the plan. There we go, and then we'll get a gate on there. So, fence gate to get them in. I'm well aware of that. Rotate it out that way. And then I should be able to get a tiny bit of fence there, actually, because that looks a bit weird. Let's do this. There we go. And we can cancel these ones. And we'll get in a small side gate on this. So we'll get a little wooden gate. Let's uh, get it over here as well. And then that should be our little port done. And we'll keep them inside here. I don't think they'll get attacked from there. And what we'll do is we'll start working up the concrete as much as we can. We'll go to 500 for now. I know that we don't have the stones in. That's good. We'll leave that one on that. Probably set concrete on there too until 500. And what that means is we can we can future-proof for when we start doing the walls as well. What are you doing? Self-destruct alert. We kind of need to go to that. I will not lie to you. We need to get to that. We got a little bit of uh, fuel being done in there, 20. It's enough to send us off once, so... Do kind of think that needs to be butchered, but there's not much left in it either. Hmm. We're in a sticky situ here. Got lots of wood, lots of sticks though now, which is great, well done, Han. And then I think what we'll do is grab Grayson, who is very happy, and I'm going to get him to construct this stove so we can bin off this one. And he also needs to get this done as well. What are we waiting for in there? Got CPUs, haven't we? Yeah. Grayson, I don't want you eating just yet, mate, because you're, you're useless. Your movement speed is terrible. Hey, we're looking good here, though. Here he goes. Good man. Right, cool. Um, and then, Great Dane. Can we do that? Four disabled devices, because we have a solar eclipse. Which one's that, then? Solar panels do not function. All right. It means we're on minus 138. And the batteries are pretty low, actually. So, is it time to get down a couple of these? I believe it is. So, let's do it. One, two... And, Grayson, you heard it here first, mate. Oh, let's let him do animal sheds first. Let's get him this bit done. The slowpoke. Han, what are you doing, mate? You're transporting sticks? Can you construct these after, maybe? I'm going to get these done so they're out of the way. We'll micro this a tiny bit. And then we haven't got to worry about stuff at home, have we? Right, Han, before you eat, mate, you do that. You're happy enough, so that's fine. All right, I'm going to switch this over now. So we're going to deconstruct that one. I'm going to get Han to do that. So, you're not doing anything until you've done that. And then we're going to move this one. We're going to put it against this wall. I know we have no power just yet, but Hugo, before you go to bed, mate, can you you just move that real quick? Thank you. So obviously, we've got no battery charge. That will keep happening. We're fine. I'm going to leave this one at target temp of 24. As always, we might not even need to turn on some of this. Just checking the outdoors here. We might need to get a couple of these on, potentially. So let's, um... Uh, you know what? Let's get the heaters on. 
So we'll turn these back on. I know that we don't have the power just yet, but we'll be fine. All right, we are in a really, really good spot here. So we've now got our new cook stove on. I'm going to play it a 1x here just whilst we have a quick chat. But I, uh, I am going to end out the episode there, guys. So as always, if you have enjoyed, drop a little hi if you don't normally comment and, and you're comfortable doing so. That's wonderful. It helps massively. And obviously, Twitter and Discord are in the description also. And pinned comment, hopefully, as well. Do all that for me, and I will catch you in the next episode. Take it easy, guys.